right? Get somebody of the appropriate size if you're gonna do a lift. And if I'm lifting slowly, it's even harder. So, I'm gonna grab Darren here. Same sort of thing, right? Give her a little pull. I shove her and then I follow her. Now watch, once I get here, I want to do this a little bit. And give her a little pull at the end. Push, now watch, pull here. Now once I get to here, I want to get under her so that I'm now facing this leg. I rock back and I can lift. There's my fireman's carry. Or if she tucks her head, which would be super smart, when I go all the way back, she will roll that way. Does that make sense? It's pretty cool. All right, uh, not too bad for um, kind of slow demonstration. Let's see, let's see. Come here, Joel. All right, I ultimately want to get here and then get this knee in and my head tucked here. If I get there, then I, let's go ahead and, uh, if I'm here, I clamp this. Now, if I can't lift him, I might be able to lift him, but if I can't lift him, all I got to do is make sure I control this leg and then I start leaning back and he should squish and I've got this position, which quickly turns up. I would roll right on Joel's face, which is awesome. Make sense? Okay. If you're doing it a little bit more wrestling style, you might opt to go here on the inside of the arm, lift and get to here. And then you have a legit fireman's carry with a legit fireman's carry drop. This is more of a jujitsu style throw. Thing I like about this is because we're already working this move here. Whoop. I've already got this. I just turn to the inside here. And again, I roll him right to his head. And I'm gonna go slow so he doesn't bust his head. And then I move to here. Controlling this arm so he can't easily take my back. Switch my feet. Move to the top. At least I can do it. All right, find a new partner close in size.